I am so heartbroken right now. You guys have no idea. I am legit just so mad right now. Three days ago, three days ago, when I put together my video on my thoughts of the state of play, which everybody universally dumped on but me, it was primarily because I was so hyped up for Exo Primal. Exo Primal is a, and let me open up the page here so you can see the logo. We're gonna jump into the video in a second. I just spent all this time resizing it, so let me go ahead. Here we go. Exo Primal is the game that was the mech suit fighting uh, game where you fought waves and waves of dinosaurs in this kind of future post-apocalyptic nightmare. I immediately thought of Anthem in building up a giant mech suit and exploring an open world, fighting off waves of dinosaurs with my friends, collecting gear, becoming the most powerful dinosaur hunting monster I could be. And even talking about it now gets me excited because I saw what Anthem was trying to be. And I was so hyped up for that experience of you know, the mech assault thing, right? Changing different parts on your guns, or like your arms and your legs and your booster packs and giving you different armaments to be in different situations. Do you want to be the slow juggernaut dude who just drops, you know, nuclear bombs on people? Do you want to be something a little bit faster with light armaments or somewhere in between? My mind races. And then Capcom releases the developer interview. And I am so, so, so crestfallen. I am so sad right now. I had, I, I can already tell you guys this game is not what I wanted. And I'm very sad. And there's the first line right there. This brand new IP from Capcom is an online team-based action game. Okay. So far, maybe so good, right? And I'm like, team-based, yeah, yeah. You're going to work with your buddies. You're going to go out and fight enemies. You're going to, exactly like I said, look, you're getting in this mech suit. You're getting all powered up, right? Look at all this cool armor. You can modify all these different parts of your body and get different. And what? What is happening? Players can form teams of five members to do What? to compete with other teams online. Oh, damn. This is not what I wanted. This was not the starting off as a lowly operator, gathering supplies and building up my reputation, taking on harder tasks and more menacing monsters with better quests, upgrading my character, really investing in my suit of armor, playing to my friend's strengths and weaknesses in order to be more successful. No, let's go on. This is instead a 5v5 online arena mode. Defeat swarms of dinosaurs. Okay, well, that part is still cool. That, you know, I'm excited. And this gameplay still gets me amped up. I'm excited for this. Look at the environmental destruction. Look at how when you blow parts of walls away and all of the you know dinosaurs go flying back. But I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute, a 5v5 mode? This isn't anything like that I wanted. This isn't an enriching story arc that's going to talk me through this world and allow me to customize and build up my mech. This seems like a, you're gonna queue up for some sort of quick match. And instead you're gonna be playing against other people in these little skirmishes. What is happening? This isn't what I wanted Capcom. It's, it, I'm assuming it's too late for them to watch my video and change their minds. But imagine being able to fly around in all these rooftops exploring for pieces of gear and you know looking down the streets and finding dungeons and stuff like that. That's what I wanted. And that's kind of what the trailer kind of led me to believe. Looks like you're on this safe mothership with these all these other people. There's your mech in the background. You know, you're you're in a safe space. You're gonna go out into the world. You're gonna challenge yourself to find more tasks and everything. But look, the game features two teams of five players facing off in matches where the world's strongest exosuits 
take on history's deadliest predators. So it's kind of like an arena shooter in a sense. It's like, we're not doing this for survival of mankind. We're doing this for some other person's enjoyment. This is like, we're doing this for sport, like a Dragon Ball arena where all the great fighters are sitting in a circle and two people fight off in some epic tournament of battle. That's not what I wanted. In this battle for survival, teams compete with a variety of rules. And that uh, completes their assigned mission first wins. Now here's the main features. I'm already out, but go on. First is the exosuits. We know the exosuits. How cool is the exosuits? How cool are they? They have unique roles and everything. But if it's the fastest player, you're gonna find the optimal way to win. You're not gonna be able to take your time and explore the world and walk around and level up your character and get invested. You're going to be selecting an exosuit based solely on the role you're going to be having to take, which is like, oh, we need a healer. Okay, let me queue up as a healer. Oh, we need a tank, whatever. Sure. No, you're not going to get that. You're going to be basically filling in roles of these just basic modes where you're killing things as fast as you can. It's just going to be a just corridor shooter in a sense. That's what it feels like to me. I mean, tell me as you're watching this video if you think I'm wrong. Um, here, you're fighting waves and waves of enemies. It looks like something out of the Matrix, right? They got these dimensional rifts, and you got these two shield bearers standing there with guys shooting over the top as you're defending. You got these larger-than-life boss fights that you're working on as you're kind of looking. Look at the environmental damage. He's blowing through walls and destroying everything. That sounds cool. But not for a team-based shooter, it doesn't sound cool. Teams assemble at dinosaur outbreaks and complete various missions faster than their competitions to win the match. Missions will change based on your skill and what's unfolding in-game, so each play feels different. Why? Guys. Guys. My version's so much better. My idea is so much better. Give us a rich world. We've seen that a game like Anthem, which had absolutely no semblance of a meaningful story and had a very limited semblance of character upgrade and progression, still garnished a significant amount of hype. This is a very untapped genre. And this is where I thought we were going to take the game's direction. No. Instead, they want to do some sort of quick match. Oh, come on, Capcom. Why you do this to me, man? I was so excited for this. I really was excited for this. Really. And now I'm just like, eh. I mean, sure, I'll play it because it still looks like it'd be fun for like a couple matches and for the lulls. But this isn't what we wanted. This guy, why are you smiling? You ruined it. They ruined it.